Yo, what is up guys, JD0, bringing you a gym leader battle against Garfield. And you already know him as Indigo, we're gonna go ahead and get him the gym leader, the ground gym leader, my dudes. Not, wait, no, it's not the ground gym leader. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It is the rock gym leader, never mind. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the rock gym leader. Oh, that he turned my quest down. Hold up. Send it again. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, rock gym leader today. Uh, you see, in my previous matches, oh, you see, one of my previous match with him. Uh, basically, we're gonna go ahead and get our second match. Um, before I go into work today, basically, we're just gonna get our second match before I go into work today. Hopefully, uh, let me, say, let me give him the good luck. And, uh, it's gonna be a very interesting match. Because, again, I get to test out my new team against his Brock team. And,. I in the uh, set of rules that particularly goes upon his uh, his set of rules. Let's see, because uh, I only had to have uh, two super effective weakness Pokemon that will be against his mods, so I had to have at least like whoa, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, uh, I forgot my uh, water Pokemon. Uh, forgot a water Pokemon. Forgot one of my Pokemon. So, I'm gonna have to back out. I got one of my Pokemon. Okay, let's get our uh, last Pokemon because I can't believe I forgot one of my Pokemon entirely. So, you're gonna see the, the one Pokemon I put up here. But he doesn't know that fact that I'm using that exact same Pokemon that I'm using that Pokemon. But that's the Pokemon I'm gonna use. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. I also gotta make sure. Because I don't want to be in here and then I don't have no items. See? I don't put any items on here. I'm already, I'm already forgetting stuff. I'm already like, you know, in that point of forgetting things. Don't have all my items that I need to be on here. Uh, black, blah, 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 black sludge, where are you? BBBs, go upward. Black, 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 black sludge, there we go. Okay, okay, I think I got everything set up. Okay, 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 getting back on. Getting back on, getting back on, doing this a very quick on, okay, and I gotta like, on top of that, message him at the same time, yeah, yeah. and I'm tapping everything else, <laughs> so we still, we're kind of like four minutes into it, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Message, message, what the heck? Send him the message. Jeez. Come on now. So, getting back on, and sent him the message getting back on, and we should be ready, raring to go, and we should be able to go through and challenge him. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Also get offline as well. Okay. Okay. So I'm guessing he's probably getting back online as well. Not too bad, not too shabby, not too shabby. Requested. Did he request it me? Or did I request him? Yeah. Requested. Requested. Did he send me the request? I'm pretty sure he probably sent it me the request. I'm gonna withdraw my request. See if I back out. And there we go. Yep, he sent it me the request. So we're gonna accept this request instead. You know, that's another thing about this where it should notify you on here if they send you the request. Like on the little title here. Like, oh, no, oh, he sent you the request. Even though you're trying to send him the request. And vice versa. Okay. So now I get to choose my team for the last forsaken time. I get to choose my team because I finally fixed an issue in my team. But again, like I was saying about his team, it generally consists of you either having a two super effective mons either being a grass, fighting, ground, steel, or water. I have a consistent of two being grass, water, and then I have other Pokemon that's pretty much surrounded in that typing. So... Um, kind of want to go ahead and lead off with Tentacruel and work my way around his team here. But again, yeah, so say you too. Ba boom, ba da boom, ba da beam, ba da boom. Eight minutes. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So Koopa, Koopa is his shuckle. I hate shuckle for the epitome of being a shuckle. I hate shuckle. And I remember dealing with a shuckle too. And it can't toxic me because I think it's one of those shuckles that have that runs uh, toxic anyway. I'm just gonna go for the knockoff. See what item it has. It has a life orb. So, uh, that's pretty nice. I took the life war off, so it's not going to get any extra life war damage. And I don't have to worry about it being too much of affected against me. So that's a good thing. I am going to go ahead and go for the Ice Beam. Because anything this Pokemon cannot pretty much take an Ice Beam. Because it is effective, but it's not super effective. But either way, I'm getting damage off no matter what happens. I'm getting damage off. Okay, the ice beam does go into effect. 
I do get the damage. Can I get a freeze? I do not get a freeze. Mm, I don't know. What can I do to this mod? Can I... I think I should sludge wave it. Because I might get a poison off. I might get a poison off. If I could get a poison off, if I could get him poison from that sludge wave, please, please get a poison. No, I do not. That kind of sucks. That heavily sucks right now. What can I do to this mon that will generally put me in a predicament of at least getting him frozen? Maybe? Because all he's going to do is try to keep doing that and I'm going to keep healing and he's trying to... Because there's eight of that. There's eight of that. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. Let's see. Mm. Cause he's trying to ancient power me to see if I break. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Kakashi. No. What is super effective against this mod? Uh, I don't want to go into. Uh, Cause that's my only chance of doing is going in, but I feel like wasting out his. Yeah, I, I can't switch. I can't switch. Cause I want to draw all his uh, all his ancient powers. Cause there's there's eight ancient powers that he could pretty much produce. So if I could get a either a toxic or whatever the case might be, wasting any ancient power is good enough for me. Then I'm fine. But again, I just it's either me getting a toxic off or any poison off onto this Pokemon. But it's not happening. Uh that's a crit. That crit did a pretty good amount of damage. I'm trying to see if I wasted all his uh, ancient powers. Hopefully it did. Hopefully I wasted all his ancient powers. So he went for the sticky web. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad to go for the sticky web. But I do have the rapid spin. That's for sure. I do have the rapid spin. So, you know, it's good that you're trying to do that, but I do have rapid spin. And he's gonna go for the sticky whip. Again. That's. You're gonna make me heal up. Remove your rapid spins now? Okay. One. I'm gonna ice beam you. Just, just to predict you to use that again. It goes for the EQ instead. Okay. Well, EQ shouldn't do too much damage anyway, so I'm not really too worried about the EQ entirely. But I am gonna go for another rapid spin because I have plenty of rapid spins to use rapid spin. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna predict another sticky web, is he? He is gonna predict another sticky web. That is wild. That is wild. I can't believe he actually predicted another sticky web. This man is not letting go. Oh my god, we're 14 minutes into it and he's not letting go of that sticky web. He is sure enough he's gonna keep having that sticky web up. He is predicting to stay with the sticky web. Cause he knows I I we're just gonna we're gonna play stall with this. We're, we're actually gonna play stall with this. Cause I can keep getting my health back up no matter what. Cause I'm not I'm not wasting any of my mons to this Pokemon. He does go for the EQ. That's perfect. Perfect EQ. Because I do outspeed his mon. So I could literally go for an ice beam right now and I could take out his mon. Clean clutch. 
That's all you can do. He can't spam it more than once afterwards. It's done. He can't get the sticky web up. I had a very bulky mod. It was pretty much done for the beginning. He couldn't do anything else. My my tentacruel pretty much had it in the bag, guys. It it just it just had it in the bag. There's really nothing he could do about that. There was really nothing he could have done to Tentacruel. It was just he had rapid spin and other than that he pretty much could take anything that's coming from this mod, so it was just a done deal. Now I have nothing to do against this mod except for probably knocking off any items that it might have. And I'm pretty sure leftovers would be the item that it has. So overall, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, let's see. Can I summon anything that will be generally? Good in this situation. Yes, I do have something that's pretty good in this situation. I am gonna go ahead and switch out my Kakashi into Kakashi. Because he's gonna go for the middle burst and it's gonna fail. And I'm gonna go for the focus blast because he is halfway damaged and that shit one shot entirely. Like I said, one shot entirely, my dudes. One shot entirely. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What? So he's gonna summon out his Tritanitar. Oh, uh, send. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I am gonna go ahead, switch out into the Drumpa. And just go ahead and cloud nine. <laughs> so the weather disappears and whatnot. I'm just gonna cloud nine his weather. He is gonna go for the mega tritanitar. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna go for a rock slide. That's perfectly fine. Rock slide is not gonna do too much of the damage. But it did a pretty good, a decent amount. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, go for an energy ball. I should be able to outspeed the Tritanitar because I am Choice Scarf. That is a good body walk of that. It does go for the Ice Punch. Ice Punch does take it out. That sucks. I mean, at least I was able to get a pretty good amount of damage off. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Professor X because he's the, he's not the one who's going to be affected by Stan anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and go for a Focus Blast myself and I do able to land the Focus Blast. So that's fine, that's good enough for me to land a Focus Blast that would generally will just take out, oh Stan does take out the Professor X on damage. Okay, so it's just Stealth Rocket didn't get damaged by uh, what else? And poison stuff. Poison, Paralyze. Oh, Paralyze it does work. I, I guess it will be damaging, weakening him. So it doesn't get affected by poison and burn. And then any Stealth Rock or Stealth Rocks. Spikes, sticky web, probably a focus slash that sucks. Exorcer that even sucks even more. That does one shot, kind of sucks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, and go and in, back into Kakashi. And I'm not going to go for the uh, Focus Blast because I think Energy Ball is good to go, ready to go. It does have the Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet shouldn't do too much damage. Yeah, that shouldn't do too much damage. Okay, 
there you go. Kabuto is out. That's fine by me. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good, 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 good. Whew. I mean, gotta breathe somehow. I gotta breathe, my dude. Gotta breathe. He has Tracheon. Oh boy, Tracheon is the worst of the worst. Dealing with this particular mod is the worst of the worst. I do put it in a range of two hit KO because I got most of my energy back. I do avoid the uh, I do avoid his rock side, so I do go off with the energy ball. Energy ball does take it out. Whew. Oh my god! If rock side would have connected, I'm pretty sure. Man, I would not survive any of this at all. Okay, he got a Diancy. Diancy that I'm kind of fearing at this moment in time. Because I think Diancy does not outspeed me. But, since it's a Rock Fairy, I still have a super effective move by having a Grass-type move on the field. That kind of looks like a 2 hit KO from the range. But I don't know, Diamond Storm does do a pretty good amount of damage. Let's see how much damage. That's a guaranteed one shot. Okay. Okay. Make a note of that. When it comes down to Diamond Storm, Diamond Storm is a guaranteed one shot. Uh, let's see, because I know I have other Pokemon here. Yep. I am just going to lead off with the Rotom. Rotom should be able to outspeed the Diancy. If it doesn't outspeed, then that's fine. I have choice fix. Nope, it does outspeed. Okay. And it lands the Leaf Storm. Whoo! Okay, GG. <laughs> GG. GG. Oh my god, Indigo GG. Uh, that was a very, very scary, scary, scary scary rock gym battle we had uh definitely like i said guys definitely check out the uh the battle tower the pokemon no this just the battle tower definitely go to the chats go to public chats and you can check all the uh floors that they have for the gym le gym leader battles uh they do have on the side where it tells you where the battle tower rules are it's basically explain what how the rules are are pretty much pit down into that category or whatever uh definitely again definitely check them out definitely check all the other gym leaders out there i think there's about a good eight eight to i think eight or nine gym leaders in the floors can't remember exactly but overall definitely highly check them out uh especially especially this rock gym leader please check check the rock gym leader out guys because again that that battle was had me close call guys that battle had me close call definitely go ahead and check out garfield aka indigo sama definitely check them out that was a great battle and Comment, share, subscribe, hit the like button, picture, curse, chase, on, and stay awesome, guys. Bye.